Mr. Parik, uh, during pregnancy, uh, women can experience some form of hearing loss. Why, why would that be? There is a condition we call otosclerosis. And uh, sometimes women start noticing a hearing loss during pregnancy because of this condition. And in otosclerosis, uh, we have three little bones inside the middle ear, the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. And it's the third bone, which is the stapes, which gets a bit jammed. And when it gets jammed, it doesn't move as well, and therefore patients experience a hearing loss. Now, apparently, uh, there is a relationship between the hormonal levels in pregnancy and... Um, the fixation of this bone. So there are some women who will notice a hearing loss in pregnancy or this notice it just after they've given birth. It is not a condition that is uh, just seen in women who are pregnant. We see it in men and women, although uh, a bit more frequently in women. And women um, we know that they, um, it affects both ears more often in women. And therefore, they probably come and see us also more often right. uh, because they have hearing loss in both ears, which then affects their day-to-day -day functioning. Okay. Usually, when pregnant women present to us, we just make a diagnosis. We don't treat it as such. Um, although if the hearing loss is quite severe, then uh, women do have the option of using a hearing aid. Um, because the three options we have to manage patients is one is just diagnosis. And many patients, if they have the condition only in one ear and they have one normal ear, they can function normally. So they just want to know why they have a hearing loss. <laughs> there is a group of patients who are having trouble with their hearing loss, then there are two options. One is amplification, i.e. a hearing aid or surgery. Of course, in pregnant women, we don't want to operate on them, so we can provide them with a hearing aid if they want. <laughs> um, this is a condition that is usually seen in young adults. Uh, and uh, so they are relatively fit and they notice a hearing loss. And we make a diagnosis by examining them and sending them for a hearing test. When you examine them, we find that, uh, that really, there's nothing really to see. It's a completely normal looking ear. But when we do the hearing test, they have a hearing loss, which we call a conductive hearing loss. So we immediately know that the sound is not being conducted well right. enough. And then I personally usually do a CT scan the, because the scan actually shows the problem very clearly. So we make a diagnosis and then we discuss the options. <laughs> And that sort of hearing loss, is that something gradual or it is, is it gradual. very sudden? It is gradual <coughs> and it also is gradually progressive. But okay. it is, it progresses, in 90% of the patients, it progresses extremely slowly. Right. So over a period of time, uh, patients will notice an increase or the other ear will get affected and right. then they will notice it mm -hmm. a bit more. And in pregnant women, does it then get better after the pregnancy or is it No, it doesn't get loss? better after the pregnancy. Mm. Yeah. It, it will remain as such. Uh, and so then that, that's when they will even come and see us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then at that point you have Yes, and then choices. we discuss the, uh, the options of uh, treatment mm -hmm. with, these, uh, mm -hmm. uh, with these women. Um, in the past, the, um, in fact, um, we used to tell women to go and have uh, the children, they have a family, and then come for their treatment. Yeah. Uh, but nowadays, most surgeons would say that there is no need to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you said it does occur in fairly young 
people. Yes, that's right. right. That's right. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Parry. Pleasure.